Legit Tech Tutorials and welcome to beginning C tutorial number 7. We're going to do some problem solving. So um, I'm going to have this series somewhat parallel to Java series. So a lot of the projects that we do in the Java series I'm also going to do in the C series. But this is probably your first programming language. So we're going to slow the C, slow C down and uh, just a little bit but most of the projects will be in line and most of the tutorials will be in line. So we're going to do a problem solving similar to what we did in uh, Java which is basically um, we have a student and the student has grades and then we're going to calculate his grade point average. So he's going to enter in his grades to give um, and then we're going to output his grade point average. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our var variables. So we're going to have a, a float because we need less precision. So we're going to have a float um, GPA, which is going to hold our final uh, grade point average. Uh, float, and then we're going to have a, a number of grades. So this is going to be the part that you divide your, your grade count by. And this is grade count. And then we're going to have char. So char is going to be the grade, it's the character, it's going to be the grade that you enter in. So we're going to say char um, entered grade. Okay, now we're going to do like we did input output and we're going to prompt the user. What the heck? I don't know why that's indenting. Anyways, so we're going to say uh, enter in your grade. Oh, because I didn't hear. Okay, there we go. So then we're going to do a new um, a new thing to get the character rather than doing a scan underscore s. We're going to do a get. So we're going to say uh, entered grade equals get get char and then now we're going to say now we're going to go into the loops if um, if entered grade equals a then we are going to add number of grades plus plus so that's the increment it's going to increment number of grades once because we just added another grade and it's going to be um, grade count is going to get added four to it so there we go and then we're just going to do reuse of this guy because this is going to be exactly the same so you're going to copy it and you're going to paste it so a b c d F. So A, B, C, D, and F. And then we're going to change the values. So we got 4, 3, 2, 1. And grade is still grade, uh, F is still a grade, but we're not going to add anything to the grade count. We're just going to increment the number of grades. And then we're going to do the math for that. So we're going to say GPA equals grade count divided by number of grades. And then we're going to do a printf and we're going to say, uh, well, here we need to do a underscore n. So here we're going to want to do um, your GPA is, and then we're going to say the this guy float. Now what's the float? The float is GPA. And it would help if I close the parentheses. I mean the, the quotations. Okay, so then we're going to copy this guy. So we're going to copy that guy. And we're going to paste it. We're going to do a couple things called debugging logs. Well, I guess it's not really a debugging log, but we're going to have to have this guy outprint what uh, the number of the grade count the grade count is just to make sure it's working correctly and 
number of grades, number of grades. Okay, now we're gonna build that. Now this guy is obviously only gonna go through once. Okay, what do we got? Line 13. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need to do this. Make sure that there's no junk in here, so we're gonna initialize all these values. So we're gonna initialize all of them to zero. And this guy is just gonna have nothing in it. Uh, Q, whatever, okay. Okay. So that guy's gonna have nothing in it. We have a succeeded build. So it says enter in your grade, and we're gonna say A. And there you go, grade counts four. I guess I didn't, should have put uh, new, new lines here. New line, finally new line. Okay, so enter in grade A. Grade count four, number of grades one, your GPA. Okay, for whatever reason I have GPA entered here. Okay, so now it's good. Now what we're gonna make it do is that it will always keep looping through this guy until you enter in an invalid character. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna say, um, so it goes enter grade char, uh, then we're going to have it check. Let's do it this way. So then we'll jump in. So we're gonna have a while loop and we're gonna say while uh, entered grade is equal, equal to A or I don't think that you could have it like this, you, yeah. So we're just gonna do it this way. We're gonna have a really long one of these guys. Because we don't know how to do classes yet. So, oops, I mean structures, oops. Probably a better way of doing this, but I'm not going to think of another way to do it right now. And then what we're basically going to do is put this guy in here, cut this, and paste it inside the brackets. And then at the end here, we're gonna ask it to enter another grade. So we're gonna say get char, uh, we're going to do enter grade equals get char. And then we're gonna close that. Now when we do A, I 
I don't think it builds it. It says it does. It says it did. Interesting. A, B, C, D, F. Maybe, let me try this. It might be doing this here. And there might be something left, so we have to eat. Eat it, let me see. Okay, entering grade A. There we go, now I got it. There you go. You enter in a Z. It doesn't count the Z. It jumps out. So we have uh, 10. So we got 4, 3, which is 1 less than 8. It's 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's 4 grades. 1, 2, 3, 4. 10, 4, 2.5. Bam! And it works. So uh, this is another interesting thing. If it seems to jump over this and invalid the character, sometimes there is, there's a space there that causes things to get messed up. It's a very, very interesting and complicated thing to explain. It has to do with the buffered stream that does the output. But most of the time, if you enter something like this in twice, it will. this will eat that first character, which is sometimes a space because this is only a get, a get car, so it only gets one character, so it will pull a space if there's a space there. So this guy will... Um, so this will eat it, and then this will be okay. You know, is there anything else? There's nothing else, so I'm going to ask the user. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one more time. We're going to make it uh, two A's, and then one B. You know, sorry, one C. So that's you know four, eight, ten. And we're going to enter in a Q. It's ten. That's three. Number of grades is three. One, two, three. Ten divided by three is three point three three three, and that's good. So that's perfect. And then now that we have everything working, you can get rid of your debugging type things here and have only this guy here. So we're going to do the same thing again. A, B, A, C, and then Q. Your GPA is 3.33. And now you have a perfectly good working program. So, uh, yeah, so this definitely adds to everything that we've learned so far. Here we have, you know, operations, comparison operations. Here we have prompting input output, prompting the user, enter, uh, pulling in a character, troubleshooting this in, this character here where it just pulled in a, a character that wasn't part of it, and then we have um, increment here, and uh, as well as this here. And if you want to know a little a little cool thing about this is what you could do is if you want it to. Of course, you don't actually even need this if you're adding zero, so that's probably save you some time. But for example, for this one, if you want to do the same thing, there's a shortcut where you could do plus plus equals. Now this now that should work. So what is that? A D. So you see there, that's a short. That's a that's the the short uh, way of putting it in there. Basically, what that means is uh, grade count equals grade count plus one. So this plus basically gets this guy and copies it in there and then adds one to it to basically have shorthand for that. So that's another thing you learned here. But this is using all of our um, knowledge of loops and comparison loops and to be able to do things continuously. And here is a centennial loop. And you notice we use while because this is the, the user is controlling this loop so it's a centennial loop. It will only jump out if there's an invalid character that we don't want to go in here and use. And then it will jump out and do all your calculations, output the calculations, and then return uh, a 1 saying that your method went through without a problem. All right, so this has uh, been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and I hope you liked my little problem-solving practice for C. And we did a little bit of troubleshooting and showed you how to uh, make sure that everything's running great. 
and I will see you in the next video. So if you like my videos, please subscribe for other videos in this series and other series like it. And I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, email me at legittechtutorials at gmail.com. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.